Well, look at what's happened to me. I can't believe it myself. Suddenly, I'm on top of the world. It could have been somebody else. Calusa, California, enjoying a beautiful little heat wave here in uh, early March. Now, uh, for you hard, hardcore followers, you know I will be returning to Canada soon. So I'm going to take this opportunity to thank a lot of people. Because uh, the more I think about it, the greatest American hero that I've ever known are just people like you. And uh, you can't get better than that. I mean, you know, the, the real heroes aren't the, the politicians out there. And they're not the people that uh, we always expect. They're regular people just living a good life and being kind to others. Like myself, who was a stranger in your country and uh, lived among you Americans for many months. And uh, you did so very graciously. And uh, I, I want to thank all of you. The tough part about doing a list of thank yous is that uh, occasionally you forget some people and if I forget a, a name or a person or an event, uh, please forgive me. Now the uh, list of thank yous is in no particular order. Um, we'll start it off with uh, Health Travelers, uh, Ray and your lovely wife. Uh, thank you so much uh, for hosting me in Las Vegas and for spending time with me. Um, which brings me, of course, to Three Dogs Camping, Melissa and Steve. Wonderful people. The channel is growing very quickly, and I, I wish nothing but the best for them. True, decent ambassadors of American campers. And, of course, I cannot forget Explorer Steve. Thank you so much for taking me out for dinner in Las Vegas and for also hanging out at Rubber Tramp. You're a classy guy, you're a decent and honorable fellow, and I wish nothing but the best of success in whatever you do, because almost everything you touch turns to gold. And of course, the most recent people that I've spent some time with, Rosie O'Kelly, Rosie and Jen, at the Rosie O'Kelly YouTube channel, wonderful, honest, decent people that I'm very proud to call my friends. And of course, i got to throw a thank you out to Hillary from Canada, who drove all the way down and uh, spent Christmas and New Year's with me and we had a wonderful time you know very uh, under very unfortunate circumstances at the uh, Thousand Trails in Las Vegas with bad weather and a uh, scary neighborhood but uh, thank you Hillary for coming down and spending time with me and of course I cannot forget who I uh, first spent some of my time with uh, coming down here and I hope to see again because I've seen I see him uh, occasionally from time to time uh, RV crazy who uh, I speak to and text every once in a while and he's a great hardworking decent fellow who uh, uh, puts up with my crazy Canadian comments uh, when I do videos with him. So he's a class act and I want you to check him out if you have not done so. That's RV Crazy and he hails out of Washington State. I'd also like to throw a uh, thank you f out to uh, Caravan Carolyn who spent some time with us at RTR and uh, that's where I first met her and, and of course spent a little time at uh, Indio Palm Desert too. I, I believe that's where it was at. And I wish her safe travels on her journey too. And of course, I cannot forget Wanderlust Estate. Uh, James and uh, Catalina, you're wonderful people, always a joy to spend time with, and I'm glad I uh, got to see you down in the San Diego area and in Quartzsite and to catch up, because we, we, we do talk over the phone and text, um, even though distance may keep us apart, but I, if you have not subscribed to Wanderlust Estate, please do so now. They are another truly great American class act. And on the non-RV uh, YouTube side, I'd like to do a shout out and uh, for you to check out Vince Roca. He hails from the Los Angeles area and uh, he's uh, actually a real filmmaker and uh, he, him and his wife Deanna 
do wonderfully interesting travel videos as they go around Los Angeles and traveling the world. And they are about to embark on a, I think, five-week vacation in Italy coming in the summer. So you got to follow them. They do videos at least once or twice a week and definitely worth following. Very down-to-earth people and I love them because they have a Canadian sense of humor. And I'd like to do a shout out to Static Camper Van who uh, hails out of my unofficial long-term winter home of Palm Desert, California. And he's a vanner, he's got a channel, and um, he lives in this unbearable heat in the summer. And I don't know how he does it, so he definitely deserves a sub. And while we're at it, I'd like to throw a thank you and a hello to Irene's... I always get this one wrong. Irene's Van Adventure. And um, nice to spend a little time with you on and off during RTR and after. And, of course, uh, Camper Van Kevin. Uh, nice to meet him. And uh, what is he called? The Wolf Pack? Uh, the, the three little cute puppies. Uh, I wish uh, Kevin nothing but the best. He's a good guy, honest, decent, and uh, uh, fun to meet. And last but not least, I'd love to throw a thank you and hello to my neighbors in Palm Desert at uh, Thousand Trails, um, Don and Steve. Wonderful people, uh, very chatty. We had uh, good times, uh, meals, watching some, some good uh, football games together and whatnot, and uh, wonderful people to spend time with. Thank you, America, for being so kind, generous, and decent to this nomadic Canadian. May your God, or no God, or whatever God or belief system that you subscribe to, bless you and keep you safe.